have a look. This is question number seven. Which of these is an industrial city in northern Italy? Brest, Brescia, Bordeaux, Breslau. Now it's four thousand pounds. Well, it's not Bordeaux. Bordeaux. That's in France. It's not Brest. No, I think, I think it's, it's Brescia. Yeah, I think it's B. Should we hold that? Yeah. Brescia, please. Are you finding the way you two keep looking at each other? Yes. It's very odd. It's very odd from over here. I just get double vision. Want to play? Yes. Yes. Do we want to play? Yes. 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 Ever heard of it? No. 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 Four thousand pounds. You want to play? Yes. Final answer. Final answer. The right answer. You got four thousand pounds. <laughs> Good. OK, you've got £4,000. Uh, question number eight is for £8,000. Uh, Julie, Stephanie, the drops here get a bit steep. You would lose £3,000 if you give me a wrong answer. But you could double your money. Have a look. This is question number eight. Who played the title role in the 1966 film Our Man Flint? James Brolin. James Coburn. James Garner. James Mason. It's James Coburn. It's James Coburn. It's James Coburn. You can't remember that? No, I don't. <laughs> no. No. You play? Play. Yes, I think it's Coburn. It's the right answer. You've got 8,000 pounds. <laughs> Still got no lifelines. That's good. <laughs> OK. Listen, you've got 8,000 pounds, which is great. Have a look at number nine for 16,000. You're seven away from a million. This is question number nine of a possible 15. Who was monarch at the time of Britain's general strike? Edward the Seventh, George the Fifth, Edward the Eighth, George the Sixth. Well, it's not George the Sixth. When was the general strike? 1926. 26, yeah. It's not George the Sixth. It's not Edward the Eighth. Eighth. He abdicated, didn't he? Victoria died in 19. Oh, one. The general strike was 1926. 1926. That's 25 years. Was Edward VII on the throne for 25 years? It's either Edward VII or George V. We had a 50-50. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you, you got 8,000. It's worth 16. You would lose seven if you're wrong. When did Edward VIII come to the throne? Don't know. When, when did his father die? His father being George V. Yeah. Fifty years this year, isn't it, for Queen? So that takes you back to. It was, it was her dad during the war, wasn't yeah. it? Which is the 1940s, 1938. Well, Edward the Seventh was just passing fancy, wasn't he? he was not. No. I don't know, Jim. Jim. It would be a guess, then, yeah. wouldn't it? We said we wouldn't guess. We said we wouldn't guess. Should we take the money? Yeah. Yeah. We'll be taking money. <laughs> we can't, we're not dropping seven. Top shoe. Final answer. Yeah. Yes, yeah, absolutely. Final answer. final answer. Okay, give them a big hand. Stephanie and Julie go away. Eight thousand pounds better off. Well played, you two. What would you um What would you have ended up going for? Because you're going down the track, it can't be Edward VIII, it can't be George VI. What would you have ended up going for I'd out of interest? George V. The right answer would have been George V for oh, 16,000. It would have been a guess. Listen, you didn't risk it, you didn't lose 7,000. No. They go away, 8,000 pounds better off. Well played. <laughs> that was really good. <laughs> That's it. What up, darling? What up? Thank okay. you. Give me a hand, 8,000 pounds.
return of tonight's 10 brand new pairs of twins to play for a possible one million pounds. Let's meet them. They are Rick and Paul from London, Andy and Steve from Shropshire, Heather and Martin from Herefordshire, John and David from Berkshire, Andy and Dave from Derbyshire, David and John from Hertfordshire, Ray and David from Shropshire. Tony and Stuart from Nottinghamshire. Adam and Charlie from London. And Mark and Robert from Somerset. It's about every third person tonight. It seems to be called David. Right, now here we go. Time to play fast finger first. Remember, four answers, only one correct order. Get that order right in the fastest time, and you'll be the next tonight to play for a possible £1 million. Here comes the first question. Put these years in chronological order. 1000 AD, 100 BC, 10 BC, 1 AD. Okay, let's check the right order then. It looks very straightforward. Let's see. Um, obviously, farthest back in time uh, is 100 BC. Then it's 10 BC. Then it's 1 AD. Then it's 1000 AD. That's the right order. Now, 10 start. How many got it right? These were correct. It was fast as Ray and David in 5.31 seconds. Ray! Good man, Ray. Good man. Now, which one's David? What one's David? Is that you? Yes, it is. Oh, no, Only uglier. Right. Okay. <laughs> Only uglier. <laughs> Come on, then, David. You want to pay for a million pounds? Double again. Here we have Ray Pryor, a senior company manager from Telford in Shropshire, and his twin brother David, who's a chartered accountant from Leeds. David is just 20 minutes older than Ray, and despite them being twins, admits to actually having forgotten Ray's birthday on more than one occasion. <laughs> Here's what they look like as kids. Ah. And why are we all going, ah? And despite uh, them both having changed just a little over the intervening years, uh, Ray thinks that with the right coaching, he could still get David to impersonate him at work. A cunning plan. Do you like being twins? Now I like being twins. I don't know about you, Dave. Well, I like it very much today, actually. <laughs> <laughs> but, so far. Uh, as a child, it c had its problems. In what way? Uh, people called you twin, uh, birthdays sometimes, um, well, you wouldn't get one enough. present between two. Sharing uh, presents was pants, it really was. <laughs> Sharing presents was pants? It was, yeah. <laughs> Especially if they were pants. But do you feel... <laughs> yes, just the one pair of pants between two, can't be much of a start in life, really. But also, you didn't like being... Because mums and families do tend to dress twins right. in the same clothes, don't they? Or you all look the same. Yeah, Can I... You I that? I didn't really like that, and uh, when I got a bit older, I tried to sort of buy my own clothes, and then he'd go and buy the same, so <laughs> that didn't really work either. But do you think there's a bond between you now? Or, I mean, was there always? I think we always had uh, a reasonable bond. I wouldn't say we were very, very close, but uh, I always feel that David's there for me if I need him, and, and in a crisis, uh, it's good to have a twin. So have you got a, um, a joint plan? Um, sort of. Yes, we've talked about it, and uh, we've agreed that if we don't agree, we take the money. Good plan. Ray and David here are just 15 correct answers away from winning £1 million. To so the two of them, they have three brand new lifelines to help them if they get stuck. They have 50 50, they can phone a friend, and of course, they can ask this audience. Okay, David, Ray, lots of luck. Let's play. Who wants to be a millionaire? This is it, question number one. Which of these is a type of tree? Finland neat, Denmark tidy, Norway spruce, Sweden smart. Norway spruce. spruce. Yep, that'll be Norway spruce. That'll be Norway spruce. It's the right answer, you've got £100. <laughs> Question number two for 200, here it is. Which of these is associated with the law? Short leg, long arm, thin hand, fat foot. Long arm. Long arm, 200 pounds is the right answer. <laughs> Long arm of the law. Question number three for 300 quid, here it comes. What name is given to a person who buys and sells goods or assets for others? Skinter, broker, bankrupter, hard upper. Broker. 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 It's the right answer, you got 300 pounds. <laughs> Just 
be aware of those lifelines. There are no trick questions. This is question number four, 500 pounds. At the 2002 Winter Olympics, Rona Martin and her team won a gold medal for Britain in which event? You're nodding happily. Skeleton Bob, ice hockey, figure skating, curling. 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 It's in unison, curling, curling. <laughs> it's the right answer, you've got 500 pounds. You've got 500 pounds. Question number five would guarantee you 1,000 pounds. Here it comes. Which boy's name can also be a verb meaning to persistently attack? Horace, Henry, Harry, Humphrey. Harry. Harry. Not Humphrey. No. Nope. Nope. It's the right answer. You've got £1,000. <laughs> now you're happy. Very happy. Well played. We're glad you came now. <laughs> better? Much better. There's a huge grin on your face. You're much better. OK. Uh, you've got £1,000. You're ten away from a million. You have all three lifelines intact. Question number six is for 2000 How I learned to stop worrying and love the bomb... Dave is nodding, knowledgeably, hopefully. It's part of the title of which famous comedy film? Part of the title of which famous comedy film? Some Like It Hot. Dr. Strangelove. There's something about Mary... <laughs> With nail and eye. Doctor it's Strange Doctor Strange Love. Yeah. Final answer. Final Definitely answer. Five, no, final answer. Yes. You're very confident. Yeah, absolutely right. You got two thousand pounds. <laughs> okay. Question number seven is for four thousand. You still haven't touched any lifelines. You got fifty-fifty. Phone a friend and ask this audience. Question number seven is for four thousand. Here it is. Which of these was an 18th century born English dandy and friend to the Prince Regent? You're doing your nodding again, David, aren't you? Yep. <laughs> what do you expect to come up on the screen? What do you Bo hope? Bo Brummel. Bo Brummel. Okay, see what happens. Bo James. Bo Bridges. Bo Jest. Yes. Bo Brummel. Bo Brummel. Bo Brummel. Bo Brummel. Final answer. Final Indeed. answer. That's the right answer. You got four thousand pounds. <laughs> Bone idle. You got £4,000. <laughs> Question number eight is for 8000 You still have all three lifelines. Have a look. In which county is the town of Royal Leamington Spa? Warwickshire. Lincolnshire. Hertfordshire. Gloucestershire. That'll be Warwickshire. Yes. That'll be because you come from Telford then? Uh, I drive through Leamington Spa occasionally, yes. Final answer? Final answer. Final answer. It's the right answer. You've got £8,000. <laughs> Question number nine is for 16,000. You could lose 7,000 here. Uh, have a look. It's question number nine of a possible 15. Which children's TV programme was presented by the mother of pop star Sophie Ellis Bexter? Play School, Blue Peter, Saturday Superstore, Magpie. Slow job, isn't it? No. <laughs> <laughs> We'd like to ask the audience, please, Chris. I thought you might. They'll be pleased. OK. Right, audience, let's get David and Ray up to £16,000. This is the question. All on your keypads, please. Which children's TV programme was presented by the mother of pop star Sophie Ellis Bexter? It's worth £16,000. All vote now. I think that's fairly convincing, don't you? Go for Blue Peter, don't you? Well, I think we just have to trust these guys. Well, you don't have to. You really don't have to. <laughs> this could be an expensive mistake. I would always say 84% enough to go with the audience. Uh, risk. Risk it. It's your call. Risk it. Have you never heard of this even, at all? Even if we go away with £1,000, that's £1,000 more than we came with. It's so. true. It's true. But uh, that each. looks pretty convincing to me. Yeah. OK, final answer. Yeah. Final answer. It's absolutely the right answer. You've got £16,000. <laughs> You've got 16,000, you still have two lifelines. It's a bit serious. Have a look. This is question number 10. Would guarantee you £32,000. Who wrote the music to the song Mac the Knife? Cole Porter, George Gershwin, Richard Rogers, Kurt Bile. Okay, I'm not sure about this one. I don't know this one. 
It may be... I've got an idea, but let's go 50-50 and I'll tell you what it is, okay? All right, 50-50. You want to go 50-50, Chris? Okay, give me the take away two wrong answers, leave David and Ray the right answer and one remaining random wrong answer. Now, what's that done? Well, I had a very strong idea that it was Kurt Vile, and I'm fairly sure it's not Richard Rogers. Yeah. I didn't think, I thought it wasn't Richard Rogers. I had no idea who else it might be. You so lose 15,000 if you're wrong. It's a big drop if you're wrong. 15,000? Or do we use our last lifeline? Who would we ask for this one? You got a colleague who's good on uh, music. Was it too too late for him? Back the knife. It's probably too early for him. <laughs> Even Andrea might know this one. Sure, cool. You got 16,000. It's worth 32. Who wrote the music to the song Mac the Knife? Richard Rogers or Kurt Vile? Let's go for it. We'll go for Kurt Vile. Yeah. Final answer. Yeah, final answer. Why were you so sure it wasn't Richard Rogers? Not his sort of music. I am fairly sure, I was fairly sure it was Kurt Vile anyway. It's the right answer. You've got £32,000. <laughs> Now listen, this is great. You've got this amount of money to take back home to your families, or possibly <laughs> never see your families again. You've got thirty-two thousand pounds. Do you want to take it? I think it's in your I'd name. Like to take that. Yes, okay. please. Thank you very much. Right. You still have a phone a friend. Okay. Whatever happens, you go nice home to with have. that. Uh, you still have a phone a friend. You've got thirty-two thousand pounds guaranteed. The good news is that both of you go home with at least sixteen thousand pounds. At least you still have a lifeline. Uh, you got a good phone of friends. Yes. Think so? yep. yes. We'll find out in a minute. Well, we may not need to. Have a look. Question number 11. You might as well play this. You can't yeah, lose on it. You're guaranteed £32,000 between the two of you. It's worth 64000 You're five away from a million. Here it comes. Which of these is a book of the New <laughs> Testament? Why are you laughing? Because you're not very religious men. Uh, I used to be a clergyman. Ah. <laughs> well, when I say not very religious, you're not as religious as you used to be in the old days when you were a clergyman. <laughs> right. If he doesn't get this right, it's in trouble. I don't, I'm not going to use a lifeline for this one. Which of these is a book of the New Testament? You should know this, Ray. Jeremiah. Job. Nope. Jonah. Nope. Jude. That would be Jude, Chris. Are you sure? Totally. Final answer. Final answer. Final answer. You've just won £64,000. <laughs> Thank you.